Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with, I think it's right for reissue. I'm not sure. I mean, like I said in my, my previous talk about Revueltas, the major labels made tons and tons and tons of things, and they didn't sell a lot of them. So they're sitting around in boxes with used CD places and in warehouses and with third-party retailers. And not only do you get the original stuff, but there are reissues, remember, at mid-price or budgeted, different, different series. And so you can find these things a million different ways. But I'm just talking about this because I love it. It's one of my favorite opera recordings of the whole universe. And here it is, The Italian Woman in Algiers. One of Rossini's finest comic operas. I kind of like it better than The Barber of Seville. Don't tell anyone. It's just, it's just deliciously funny. And this, I mean, what a cast. This is amazing, this Arado recording. You've got Marilyn Horn as Isabella leading it off. Then Samuel Ramey and Kathleen Battle and Nicola Zaccaria and Ernesto Palaccio and Domenico Trimarchi. I mean, all the best people. You know, this, this, if this were Wagner, remember him? If this were Wagner and we were talking about Bayreuth, this would be like, you know, the Clemens Krauss ring, you know, with all the great Wagnerians with, you know, Flagstad and Varney and Hans Hotter and, you know, it's like the ultimate ensemble cast. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And the opera itself, oh my God, it's so much fun. It's delightful. What this has, and it just absolutely blows me away, is the first act finale, the one where everyone is so confounded that they're reduced to animal noises and and bell sounds. They're going ding, ding, bong, bong, boom, boom, quack, 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 you know. And it, it, it's one of the most fascinating finales you'll ever hear because... <clears throat> You know, Rossini, Rossini was, you know, people forget this, but if you have to make a list of the great composers of the classical era, everyone says, oh, well, it's the first Viennese school, Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven. Well, Rossini, he was one of the great classical composers. He was young. He was one of the last, I mean, along with Schubert, you know, and he gave up com composition, or at least operatic composition, but in the, in this, in the 1820s, the same time as the death of Beethoven. He was done. And he got us as far as, you know, grand opera in the beginning of the Romantic era. But he was essentially a classicist. And because he was essentially a classicist, form was really important in Rossini. I mean, he always cared a lot about the shape of the aria and the shape of the scene and how to how to extend it over the dramatic periods that the, that the opera covered, that the libretto covered. I mean, it's really just brilliant, brilliant writing. But in this particular finale, is it's remarkable because what he does is he completely dehumanizes the music in a sense. You know, all of his music is vocal music and vocal music is basically about the human singing voice. So it's all immediately expressive. But in order to depict the complete insanity that's going on in the, uh, in the plot, which you can read for yourself, what he does is he reduces everyone to parts, mechanisms in this gigantic machine. It's like, it's like Charlie Chaplin, you know, the big machine in, 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 you know, in, his, in whatever that movie was, in modern times. And he, everybody, as they do just their bell thing or their bird thing or their whatever, whatever noise they're making, they just become automata and they fit like like gears like cogs in this in this orchestral and vocal edifice that Rossini is constructing it's an exercise in pure form abstract form in a sense but the abstraction is what makes it work because because it he takes the the feeling out of it and they just become numb mindless <laughs> robots musical robots. And it's funny. It's funny as all hell. It's absolutely hilarious. And the performance here is just incredible. The the conductor, by the way, is Claudio Shimone. I'm with I Solisti Veneti. It, it's just a tremendous performance. And you can get it used very easily. I saw it on Amazon 
new for like five bucks at one point, but it's that's gone. And now people are charging like $30, you know, the usual nonsense for new copies of it. But this should never, ever have been allowed to go out of print, never in a billion years. It's one of the great Rossini recordings ever with some of the great Rossini singers. It's phenomenal. So go for it and keep on listening. Take care.